Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a water collection system. This is the water that comes off the roof when the snow melts or when it's raining. All the water will go inside this 55 gallon drum that I got for free from the car wash. And uh, we turn it upside down and we put an opening in the top and we fit our gutter right in there. I have a filter system there made with a, uh, an ordinary uh, woman's stocking. And uh, down at the bottom here, we got a spigot at the lowest point uh, so that if there's any sediment that passes that filter that collects the big stuff, uh, it will be washed out when you first open up the spigot. Also, I'm going to show you how to put the blocks. Uh, you don't want to just throw them in the dirt. You want to put some flat stone at the bottom of it so that it creates a footing. Uh, and then we have our overflow. And I'm going to show you how to attach garden hose attachments to the end of the water. Uh, spigot and as well as the overflow so that you can water your flower beds and things like that and um, Let's get started. I'm gonna give you a parts list and everything and show you all the parts uh, We have my little greenhouse my ghetto greenhouse here And I'm gonna be able to use the water from the barrel to uh, water my plants and uh, my vegetables and things like that um, I have a video about this uh, creating the flower box uh, as a raised flower bed box as well as converting it to a greenhouse um, so let's uh, contribute towards mother earth um, try to save conserve water uh, if you're a prepper you know you you want to have some sort of water supply uh, that's somewhat drinkable uh, and you know you can water your plants still and things like that during droughts and stuff so uh, this is the first of many that I'm going to be putting around my house um, so let's get started. I'm going to show you what to do and all the parts and everything like that So when you get your water barrel from the car wash It's gonna have a cap like this on it that you pretty much want to just keep right where it is But there's also a cap here uh, that you can use a vice grip or a, a Screwdriver to twist it open and it's got a cover like this and it's pretty much sealed in there And we're gonna show you how to pop a hole in there uh, the right way because there's some threads on here that you want to use uh, with your PVC piping uh, and on the bottom here uh, so the, basically the top of the barrel uh, normally will be the bottom of your barrel uh, we're gonna put their spigot here and then we want to turn the barrel over and we want to pop a four inch hole right in here as well as make a hole in the side like that uh, so that you can also put your overflow so that's towards the bottom of the uh, uh, barrel now let me show you the tools and all the parts and a, a parts list so that you can uh, get everything going the only tools you need for this project is a high power drill a tape measure a three-quarter pallet uh, drill bit uh, to make the hole for the overflow and you need a 5 8 uh, pallet bit uh, in order to pop the hole in the cover. You also need vice grip so that you can take the cover off. You pretty much just spin it off like that. And if you have a four inch hole saw, uh, but if you don't want to spend the money, you can use a smaller hole saw. And what you want to do is you make a four inch circle and you drill out here and here on the bottom of your barrel uh, or here and here and your bottom of your barrel and just use a hacksaw or a jigsaw to cut the hole out smoothly you might want to use a file too to file it up nicely this way when you have the hole in your barrel you just pop it right in and it fits nicely you may want to use primer and PVC glue as well as a roll of Teflon tape in order to seal up uh, with the Teflon tape you seal up all the threads and with the glue you uh, do all the pipe fittings like here and here here and there and also here you can put some Teflon tape and uh, even though uh, it's really not necessary to have Teflon tape and all that because all I was getting was a little drip when I hooked it up uh, dry uh, but it's always nice to seal it up so you might want to pick up some of this
So most of the barrels you get uh, from the car wash have a cap like this that screws in water tight. It's got a gasket on it like this, so that it keeps it from leaking. But the problem is that it's capped off. It has plastic piece so that, you know, when you turn the barrel sideways, it doesn't spill. So what we have to do is we have to drill a hole into here. Uh, but there are th some threads in here that you don't want to mess with uh, because you want to put one of these on here like this. That's the same one that you use at the end of the spigot to connect the hose. And you put the non-hose side there. This way, when you drill into it, you don't mess up the threads. So basically, we're just going to put it right on here. And we're going to put this on our drill and we're going to drill a hole right in here and it will uh, make it so that it's wide open. Then you could take it off and put your spigot part on like this, tighten it down, and then you have your water spigot there. Okay? So now we have a nice hole in there. Take this off, we'll put the plastic one in, like that, and we're all good to go. Maybe just like that. So you want to make the overflow, basically this is the bottom of the barrel turned upside down. Uh, you want to use your three quarter bit and you want to drill a hole in a couple of inches down. And then you get the hole, then you take your overflow and it comes with this parts like this you just unscrew it here you put one of those o-rings on right there you reach through the hole and you pop this through with an o-ring on the inside you can turn it it pretty much threads then you put your o-ring on this side and screw in like this and then attach your elbow and your downspout. So there you have it. That's how you do the overflow. So here goes our can. We have our spigot coming out of the bottom. Of course you would place this on two blocks and you could just turn it on hook up a hose to it. Now also on your overflow, we have that hooked up right in there, nice tight fit and with a water hose connection at the bottom. You can hook up that overflow to a soaker and when it overflows in a heavy rainstorm, uh, you'll be able to soak uh, your plants and give them the uh, water they need. On the top here, sorry about the dirty barrel, but we have our thing in there. Now I'm going to show you a way to uh, filter the water. Now a great way to filter your water before it even comes into the barrel is to use a nylon stocking. So basically what you do is you place the nylon stocking toe end in first and then you place this around here. Try not to rip it. <laughs> and you Bring it down like this, just like that, and you place it in here. And what's going to happen is your water is going to go inside here, and after a while, this is going to stretch out. It's going to fill up with debris inside it. It's a great filter. Uh, it fills up with debris inside it, and all the water just comes out with no resistance. So what you do is you just take it out, clean it up, and it's all clean. Um, and no debris from your gutter or from your roof for the first 10 to 15 minutes will get in. Uh, you'll have to clean it out and replace the stocking once in a while, uh, but at least you got yourself a nice little filter. And what's nice is it holds it in when you have it on like that. You just put your gutter right into here and you're good to go. The other good thing about putting the spigot underneath is when there is debris in there, it will come out of your hose. Uh, when you first turn it on, all that debris will wash out. Uh, if you have your spigot here, a little higher up, all your debris is going to be sitting at the bottom. And then you're going to have to clean out and dump over. Uh, but with this, you could just turn it on and uh, a lot of the debris will come out if any got past that stocking up on top. Okay? 
clean up the barrel a little bit. Now, what I want to know from you guys is, can you paint these? And I would love to paint this black so that the sun beats on it and warms up the water. Uh, because, you know, plants, they love nice, uh, warm uh, rainwater. And uh, if anybody could tell me that, I mean, I would think that you could sand it down, make it rough, and then paint it a matte black finish so that you get some uh, warmth in your barrel. But I don't know. So somebody tell me in the comments, please. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video.